figured out how it works yet? Yeah, I think so. It's like a mini press. Mini press? Yeah. You got your dies. Make sure what? <laughs> so I don't know how the dies work either. Oh yeah, it pushes it out out like this. Like what? Like this. All right, what are we doing? All right, it's brakes day. Brakes day? Everyone's finest job. We're doing the brakes. So we've got we've got some some brake line. We've got a flarer. We've got our bender. We've got a pipe cutter that's somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta find it. We can figure that out later. But the booster has to go back in. <laughs> yep, the booster has to go back in. So Michael's gonna do that while I figure this out. Should we roast Yeah. See him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, first three. Yeah, first of three. No, no, no. It yeah, was one. On. It was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! Yes. This is the decider. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I the booster. So, the plan is for today we want to get the brakes basically plumbed up, figure out where all the lines are going to go, yeah. get the master cylinder in. Yep. Yeah. Um. So I'm pretty sure it needs a couple of bolts behind <laughs> it, Nate. What we need to do though, so we need to make our lines. We're using the factory lines for that, the one that goes under the engine. We're just going to make a new ones that go to there because we might as well. Yep. We need to make one that goes over the diff. Yep. And we might reuse the one that comes up the body. We don't know yet. Yeah, we'll see how it looks because yeah. it got a bit twisted and mangled when we tried to get it, it out. It did, yeah. So we're gonna. We don't need to make it all. Like we can just blow the the lines out and then that's it. Reuse it, but we will see. Because straightening out that coil is probably going to be a, not a fun job. <laughs> so if we have straight straight lines out the back, we'll just use that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, get into it. Yep. Because I'm such a nice guy, I'm going to jump another dash and do this brake booster because Nathan's done it about seven times now. <laughs> so I think it's probably only fair that I get under and do it. It is a bit of a pain because it's hard to get to, but I'm not going to whinge about it like Nathan does. I didn't whinge. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I reckon I could flash back to some footage right now of you whinging. That sucked. It's not bad juju with boosters. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll see how you, I'll see you in an hour and then I'll see how you feel. Meantime, I've got to sort through all this. This sucks! <laughs> and I've got to figure out how this thing works. So, so I've basically finished building the brake system while Michael's been doing this. I guess started. <laughs> I've just got to... And I didn't winch anywhere near as much as you did. He did winch, the camera wasn't on. That was easy, I don't know what you were worried about. Give me all the brake boosters, I'll do them all. <laughs> it's all back. Brake booster is done and working. Chic man. So now we can... Sit the master cylinder on. Yeah, and start building. Do you want the master cylinder? Huh? Can't have it, it's out. So, we have the master cylinder. What we're doing now is we're laying everything out so that we can get an idea of all the fittings that we have because we have a bunch of new fittings that came with the kit that we bought uh, but probably not enough to do the whole system but a lot of these are still good the yeah, old ones so we'll just cut them off wire wheel them and reuse them because i don't see any issue with doing that they look pretty good to me what was that i don't know we don't know what this does Oh, unless these are adapters so that you can put them into like your standard brake fitting so you don't have to remake brake fittings. That's what be what they're for. But we'll just go straight in, I reckon. Yeah. We should probably read the instructions. Handbrake. Okay. Handbrake works. Handbrake works now. <laughs> this is what happens when you have a HQ on bump stops. Oh, the line! Do, 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 do! <laughs> Love is it always on time! Ah, so the bracket's right up there. And then our hole is there that the brake line connects to. Alright, so you... <laughs> so, it's, it's actually going to come down instead of going up. <laughs> Alright, so you can do the back and I'll do the front. Alright. <laughs> Asshole. Oh, here we go. What do we need? Doesn't say fluid. No, doesn't say. I thought it said it. No. 
We're going to have to look at the instructions. Do you know where they are? To use. They're in the car, aren't they? <laughs> They'll be in the boot, aren't they? Look, we're not up to... We're just making lines at the moment. We're not up to... Uh, <laughs> Fluid. Pump the brakes. Fluid. Pump the brakes. So we put our... The short bit of flexible hose that goes from the chassis here over to the top of the diff. It's pretty tight up there. There's really not a lot of room. But what we're thinking of doing is dumbing up some lines now to get to the discs. Just to see how it all looks and then we'll go from there. So Nathan's taken the old fittings off the old lines because they're still good. No reason why we can't reuse them. Well no. There's nothing wrong with fittings. Just clean them up in the wire wheel and, and bada beam bada boom. We also realised too that this isn't the most exciting episode being that we're just running brake lines but all the big stuff is in at the minute. We're down to basically all the little tiny stuff, the fiddly bits, the stuff that takes time. Yeah. This is car building, people. This is what happens. Not yep. all of it's all glam and... What is it? Glam and glim and glitz? Glitz? What's, what's the term? I'm I don't thinking? know. Just keep sounding like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> glitz and glamour. Glitz and glamour. Not always glitz and glamour. With brand new parts. Yeah. This is... Hey, look. Nathan dropped something. <laughs> This is one of those days. Who would have ever thought it? So, because it's just so tight up in here at the minute, what we're going to do is actually lower the diff down, take the springs or the coilovers off by these bolts here, lower it right down, that way we can get um, as much access to the diff as possible. Ideally, this is probably a job that you want to do before you put the diff in, but we didn't have any line when we did this, so... Now we're going to do it this way. Better working height. <laughs> yeah. Now we can actually see what we're doing. Yeah. Right, let's see. <laughs> How does it work? <laughs> Alright. Oh, good call. Actually, no, I won't be able to slide that. Oh, no, I should be able to. Mm. No, I won't. Risky, isn't it? We are learning to, as we go. I don't want to make it tight. Let's just go. I don't know what the zero, the O, R, uh, and L mean. I've got no idea. Oh, that looks good. Nice. Why are making brake lights so shit? <laughs> yeah. All right. So we just do that up, and then we'll build from there. Because what we'll do is we'll go like this. So I need to make another bend there. You know which way it's going to go? This way. <laughs> I think. This will be a good this test. This is so freaking... This will be a good test bed anyway. Yeah, this is this is our test, everyone. Because um, we're learning. Exactly. Maybe he's wishing he had another iron right now. <laughs> I, really, I really do. <laughs> Follow this. Snap. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. And then I want to go another bend there and go straight along there. I want to bend it like that. Like what? Like that. So I want to go. <laughs> go like that. I want to go. I want to go like that. Remember your left and rights. Oh, that's, that's, that's bad. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Let's check back in a little while, shall we? I'm pretty steampunk. Pretty steampunked? Yeah, well, isn't like copper piping pretty steampunk? Yeah, it does look pretty cool. I just got to fix the air because it's touching there. Well, I'll just bend that up a bit. But then we'll run straight there. That'll clamp that there. That'll hold that. And then we'll, we're going to wrap it up and around that a bit to clear that and then bend it straight into there. But that looks good. Looks relatively neat. It does look steampunk with the black and the copper. Yeah. Well done. Thanks. You can do the other side. <laughs> I want to see you do the other side. I've been a real bad boy on the town all night. Start the town down with a moon. 
What do you reckon? Oh, nice. Then once we like... Yeah, once... Once we actually can tighten everything up, then we can actually bend it in properly. I like how yours is so straight. I don't know how you got yours so straight. I got a kink in mine. It's driving me nuts. Yeah, it's driving me a bit nuts too. So the issue that we're having at the minute that Nathan pointed out is this fitting um, isn't going to work because the, uh, the flange type fitting, it just, it's just going to sit loose in there. So we need to figure out, we need an adapter of some sort. We don't know what adapter we need. So I'm going to race down shortly down to a brake shop and talk to them and figure out what we need and how we're going to overcome it. Until we can do that, we're just going to keep working away at making these lines up. See how far we get. Yeah. Well, that's done now, the diff. Uh, we've got our piece that goes to the flexi hose. That's there that comes to here. We've got that piece because we're using the original ones, which it's then got a, I think it's a, pro not a, a proportional valve. valve, which then comes forward and up to the the distribution block. <laughs> <laughs> we still haven't figured out the name yet. <laughs> anyway, and that's up there. So we're going to reuse that. So then all we need to remake is two lines that come off the master cylinder that go to that. Perfect. So we've got heaps of line left, haven't we? <laughs> we may have overbought. May have overbought. Bought 25 feet of it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the block that joins the two lines, which I'm pretty sure stops, slows your force going to the back brakes. This pretty sure I'm not sure I'm unsure <laughs> but we're gonna put it in because it was factory <laughs> <laughs> factory fitted factory oh which way does it go this way because they're two different, different size, size fittings. fittings so it makes it idiot proof which is good for us <laughs> so that's exactly like that and then there's actually a uh, there's a there's clamp. a clamp yeah yeah the clamps over here which was originally just tech screwed into the frame so we're not tech screwing. It's up to Michael if he wants to tech screw it or not. Do we have to? Can we get an upset gun in there? I think it'll hit the body. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna look away. You do what you need to do. <laughs> so these are the old lines, which Nathan's gonna paint up. Yeah, not... Just so they don't rust, because I've wire wheeled them. Yeah. I just gave them a light wire wheel. Should we paint them outside? Yeah, because the sun's shining. <laughs> He just loves to paint stuff. <laughs> Let that dry, bake in the sun, bake for about 30 minutes, flip, cook for another 15, then pull them out. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> 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 there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Professional. So, we got some fittings now. I did have a spanner for it. We got these fittings basically like like an adapter because apparently talking to the brake guy that I just went and visited then this is a gas type threading a gas type thread sorry so it accepts this and it's a tapered thread we got these from Casamay and Rodshop they gave it to us which would then bolt into there and then we'd have to get a fitting to that but we don't have any of those fittings that would actually fit so what we can do is we can put this on he said make sure you lock tight fit this in here And I've got Loctite everywhere now. And what we do. And then we can use our fittings that we have for this line. So that line will then go in like so. Once we flare it, obviously. And that'll, should do up into there. My side looks way better than your side. What? Are you serious? No. Right, let's get the level out. Huh? Let's, get the, let's get the level out. That's because you gave me, that's because you dropped it and you bent it. That's I why. did drop it, everyone. Um... We finished the back section, um, so <laughs> smart ass. We finished the back section. These are all plumbed in. Everything's tight, so we have to actually put the diff back up as much as we want to test it how it is, because we've got to put our flexi hose up through there because it's got a, a clip, a fork yep. that holds it through. And then I've already run previously the lines that go to the front, so then I just got to put that line in. Yep. Um, put that to there, and then we just got to do two more lines from the master cylinder. Yep. And then we can start pumping brakes. Sweet. And then later down the track, we've got to put some P-clips if, if, in a few spots, like the push-in P-clips, not the ones that screw in. Oh, okay. Um, because there's a few holes along the rail that actually hold the brake line. 
Okay. And we'll do that later on because we don't have any P clips at the moment. The biggest issue is the coilovers have to miss. Yeah, so. the coilover is right there and it's, it's really close. So we went around as ugly as it is going around. We had to do it because... We're just going to call this expansion expansion joint or expansion bends, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what they're called, <laughs> so I'm not putting anything down. So <laughs> that's the scientific reasoning as to why we did it. Yeah, but anyway, looks good. I think it's good. All right, so we've done the bottom of it now. Now it's time to do the top, i.e. the master cylinder. Nathan's already made up a bit of pipe there, as you can see. We're running the distributor out here. <laughs> Side mount. Don't stuff it up. You sure you got that angle right? Oh, yeah. Pretty sure that's a no. <laughs> Look at the side. That's like bang on. Look at that. It just goes right here. How you going, mate? <laughs> okay, so Nathan claims to be the expert here as he gets his jumper caught in the vice. <laughs> okay, so what you don't do, oh, I don't know if this is how you do it. So obviously you choose the one you got, which we got is 316s. Disclaimer, this has worked for us. It probably doesn't. <laughs> We it's probably not right, right, right or wrong. And then what um what I do is I use this. So this is a double flare. So then I poke that through the height of that. Yeah, so sit that flush on there and go the same height as that. All right. Clamp her on down pretty tight because it'll spin or it'll push it down. All right, and then this simply goes in like that. <laughs> this is why he's the pro. <laughs> then we're using that as he puts his hand over it. Sorry, it's hard because it's tight. And then that will create a flare. So you take this tool out and then you just put it back in with this just to center it out. So just take a look at how it is now. After I do this, point. And as long as you remember to put the fitting on, they're good as gold. And then it leaves me with a nice, nice flare. So my side's now done. Let's watch Michael um, mirror it. No, we don't, we don't need to do that. And then we can look at bench bleeding the master cylinder and then actually pumping it. The one thing that we have to make sure is that we have enough travel before we bench bleed. So if you read the instructions, it said we're supposed to push it in with no fluid in it. Yeah. To make sure that we have enough to actually use the f so that the pedal doesn't bottom out on the floor before this has finished its stroke. If yeah. That makes sense. So we've just mucked around with push rods and that, which we'll explain. Um, we're going to bench bleed the master cylinder. So this is just a simple process of filling both tanks with brake fluid and just pumping it through and getting all the air bubbles through the system before we put it onto there because if you put it onto there then you're going to be pumping all the air out of this through all the lines and through all the brakes yeah so you're better off getting all the air out of this first obviously so it comes with a with a kit which it just has some plastic fittings some tubes and this thing to hold it there so it's pretty simple and then just fill it up and keep pumping you got to pump it up don't you know pump it, it helps if you sing the song too does it yeah didn't know that i'll have to do it like we have a second bottle hopefully we got enough to do the whole thing yeah i really hope so too why is it blue but it's exactly the but same, it's exactly the same. <laughs> it says one says exclusive to super cheap auto one says not okay it looks like we're mixing blue and white together then let's pump it so you can see all the bubbles now, it was something about going slow, wasn't it? Yeah. So, push in firm and then slow release, isn't it? Yeah, but we got to get the bulk out first. So, but yeah, so it's slow release to keep the bubbles at the top. That's right, yeah. And then... But let's just get bulk out first. And then you slow down and just do little movements without releasing all the way, don't you? Yeah. I'm getting tired. So we've switched out the fluid and we've tag teamed. Uh, Michael's taken over. Because you get a sore arm. You get a sore everything because you're going to try to push it in. So we've got our last few bubbles. 
There we go. So the way that you try and do it is you push in. This is how we think you do it anyway. Push in and then release really slowly because you want to get all those air bubbles to sit at the top. Just like that. I'm releasing only a couple of mil at a time to try and keep them up top. Engaging my core. Alright, so we're taking the bench bleed off. We're putting the cap on just so we can transport it without spilling it everywhere. <laughs> now Nathan is going to try to put this in without spilling a drop. We also had to extend that a little bit just to make sure that we got a throw right so, the throw right so that it is the full length of the actual mass number. Ready? Just sit it in and then we'll just hook the line straight up. Yeah. So we've bled the diff. Just going to bleed the front now and then just keep going around because then we got bulk air out. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Up. Down. Up. Well, we have a pedal. It feels really good. So we have pedal stopping about an inch off the floor. Feels good, you can build a bit of pressure. Yeah. So that feels really good. We when we first bled it we went around and we're like, sweet, feels good, no worries, put our foot in it and the foot the pedal went to the floor and we're like well that doesn't seem right so then what we did is initially when we first bled it we just bled the outside not realizing these are twin pistons i think so piston on each side of the caliper not just like a i don't know what you call the other ones where it's just like a slave just doesn't do anything yeah um, there's a slider there's one that slides yeah we then went around bled the inside then bled the outside on each one going around and that seems to have made the difference so there's a lesson learnt for us we didn't realize that you had to bleed both sides so Feels awesome now, it's a good good pedal feel. So we'll put the cap on this because that's done now. Yeah, we'll put the wheels on and see what it does. Yeah, go for a spin around the block. <laughs> you hate to check your fluid level, wouldn't you? I oh, know. So we figure we should probably test the brakes. So we're just going to roll it off the timbers and stop, hopefully. We've got a fairly long runway. If he runs into the patrol, that'll stop him. <laughs> so let's hope they work. Yeah. So Nathan's going to be our brave I'm test be pilot. Test dummy. I was going to say pilot, but yeah, dummy. Uh, sure. Oh yeah, you know what? No, pilot. Yeah, yeah. I'm a pilot. Yeah. I'm piloting the brakes on this one. Dummy. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Good luck, sir. Godspeed. Well, <laughs> actually not Godspeed. Let's hope it stops. <sighs> Helmet, yep. Safety first. Safety first. We have no airbags. <laughs> Do it. Let's go. <laughs> Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Lift off. We have a lift off. Thirty-two minutes past the hour. Lift off on Apollo eleven. <laughs> Stops. <laughs> Test successful. Welcome to Earth, son. So I joined the two mile per hour club. <laughs> nice work. Ah, uh, they work? That's a win. Why are you so puffed out? <laughs> Sweet. I Perfect. guess that's another thing done. Yep. We still gotta run, we still gotta figure out our fuel system. So we've got to figure out our return, our catch can. Uh, charcoal canister, sorry to pass uh, our roadworthy and engineering. Uh, so we've got to figure out where all that's going to go and whatnot. We'll probably mount the charcoal canister up underneath. But that'll be in the next episode when we figure out the fuel system. Yeah. Well, that or we're doing the electrical. We don't know yet. Well, we, don't know. we don't know yet because we're kind of sick of under the car bending lines and stuff like that. Yeah. And plus we're waiting for parts for the fuel. So call it out. Till the next episode. We'll see you in the next episode. Well, I say you did do a better job than me up here. That does look nicer than mine. Damn straight. I just love how you're straight yours is, and then mine goes, woo! <laughs> is flare? Yeah, and I forgot to put the, the nut on first. I knew you would! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, good stuff. Hey, look, I'm just like you now. <laughs> Handbrake, check. I feel like David Freiberger doing 200 mile an hour. Parachute, fire. Parachute, fire. Parachute, fire. Parachute, fire, handbrake. Where should you stop? Parachute, fire, handbrake. <laughs> <laughs>